Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today is Tuesday, April 27th, and it is the day that I am getting LASIK eye surgery. I have been waiting for this day for years. I've been wearing contacts and glasses, mainly contacts, since I was 12 years old, so going on 17 years now. And I am just over it. So I wanted to share my experience and just vlog the process and make a video that is hopefully as informative as possible if this is something that you're considering doing yourself. So prior to today, I had a few different appointments. First, I had to go in for a consultation. The consultation is necessary because they need to determine if you are a good candidate for LASIK. Um, not everybody is eligible to have it done. You know, you have to have healthy eyes. You have to have a really stable prescription. They took tons of pictures of my eyes, did all these different exams and tests, and then they went over the entire procedure, everything that I can expect, answered any questions that I had, went over pricing and everything with me. And then I had to go back for a couple more exams. They really wanted to just like double and triple check my eyes to make sure that everything was like really stable because I have been wearing contacts for so long and I'm somebody that I used to sleep in my contacts pretty regularly which really isn't good but you know I wanted to make sure though that I was being like completely honest with them about everything so um yeah they were like well since you sleep in your contacts and you've been wearing them for so long you know we want to make sure that all of the corrections that we're going to be doing on you are going to be right. And then last week, I was there for my pre-op appointment. They just answered more questions, went over more information, made me watch a video and answer some questions, like do a little quiz just to make sure that like I understood all of the risks. And then they gave me the scripts for my prescriptions, told me what eye drops I needed to get, and went over like the aftercare stuff with me gave me some paperwork to look over and sign. So I have to bring all of that stuff with me today. Um, oh, and they also, I, I'll show you, they gave me like a little baggie and there's um, sunglasses in there and then there's also like protective goggles that they want me to wear to bed for the first week. And I feel pretty good about it, honestly. Like I am a little bit nervous just because, you know, I'm about to do something that I've never done before. So even though, they explain to me what to expect. I know what's going to happen, but I've never done it before. I don't know what it's going to feel like and be like. So <clears throat> I'm a little bit nervous in that regard, but I feel prepared and I'm excited. And I just can't believe that in a few hours, I am not going to need these glasses anymore. Oh, another thing, because I was such like a regular contact wearer, they had me stop wearing my contacts for the last month or so. So I've been having to wear my glasses every single day for the last month. So I'm going to be really excited to not need these anymore because they are driving me insane. So I just washed and styled my hair since I'm not supposed to get my eyes wet. For the first week, I figured, let me have my hair freshly washed now, so that way I don't have to wash it for a week. I think it'll be easier to like avoid getting my face and my eyes wet if I don't have to wash my hair. They also told me to obviously not have any makeup on, no um, moisturizers with any scents, no perfume, um, no like big dangly earrings. She said my little like studs are fine. And they told me to just wear like loose comfy clothes and something that's like easy to get over my head without having to like rub my face or my eyes. And then when I get home, I'm gonna have to wear those sunglasses and keep my eyes closed as much as possible for the rest of the night. So I'm gonna get some podcasts lined up. So yeah, I need to leave now. I do need to have somebody drive me because obviously I can't have my eyes open to drive when I'm coming home. So I am gonna pick up my dad, he's gonna take me and then drive me home. Oh, let me show you the little goodie bag that they gave me. They gave me paperwork to go over, that just goes over all the information that they already covered in the office, what to expect, aftercare, etc. And then these are the prescription drops that I had to pick up. So I have two prescription drops and then artificial tears and then like gel eye drops. So those are these here, and then I have my sunglasses, and these are the protective goggles that they want me to wear at night. I have to bring this with me so they can confirm that I picked up my prescriptions and I have everything I need as far as the eye drops. So I'll see you when I get back. Hi. 
it's me. Everything went really well. I, I feel fine. Um, but I want to like share with you guys the procedure in detail now before I forget because I feel like by the morning I'm going to completely forget like all of the details. And I'm supposed to be keeping my eyes closed as much as possible. So yeah. So they had me come back and um, just go over everything in my little baggie, you know, go over the paperwork, make sure I signed everything, check that I have the correct eye drops and everything that I need went over like the aftercare and all that and then she um, applied like the iodine or whatever it is like to clean my eye area she gave me a disposable mask because since like it's still COVID times I did have to wear a face mask and then she gave me a bonnet to put over my head to like cover over my hair and my ears and everything and then she put numbing drops in my eyes and the numbing drops you don't really feel anything it just makes your eyes feel kind of heavy like your lids feel like there's weight on them and then they had me walk into the surgery room lay down they kept giving me a whole bunch of different kinds of eye drops they reapplied the numbing drops multiple times throughout the procedure first they have to cut the flap so, I mean, I'm sure if, like, you've looked into LASIK, you have an idea of what they do. So, they just cut, like, the very top layer of your eye, and they only do one eye at a time. And the eye that they're not currently working on, they just cover, and you just keep it closed. So, um, he started with my right eye, and he put, like, this thing to keep my eye held open so that I can't blink. I was a little nervous about that, because I didn't know what it was going to feel like, and I started to get a little bit of anxiety, but... That was totally fine. Like, I didn't have any desire to blink. My eyes were, like, so lubricated and numb that you don't need to blink. And then he put this, like, ring thing, like, this clear-looking ring that is, like, a suction cup, I guess. And he said, you're going to feel pressure. And it just felt like something was just, like, pressing down on my eye and also, like, pulling it out at the same time. I don't know how to describe it. It was weird. It just felt like pressure, though no pain at all whatsoever and honestly my right eye I barely even felt anything the left eye I felt more of the pressure but that's all it is no pain um and then he slid me under one machine lined it up and I didn't feel anything I couldn't see anything because the machine was right on top of my eye and I guess it just cuts the little flap a laser just makes these little like cuts I guess slid me back out from under the machine covered my right eye and then did the same process on the left eye that was honestly the scariest thing and like the hardest part of the entire procedure again there was no pain at any point but it was very scary like I'm not even gonna lie to you guys everybody that I talked to that's gotten LASIK they're like oh my god it's so quick and easy it's no big deal it was fine blah 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 I I was scared not scared because I thought that like my vision was gonna get messed up or anything like that but just scared I guess like just anxious like I and maybe it's because I have bad anxiety and I get panic attacks and I think having like a mask on didn't help because you're also held like your head um, they have like this pillow around your head that keeps you from you know moving around and I just felt like very constricted and I was like oh my god I can't breathe I can't see like I, I don't know I was just very in my head about it and it was just scary and nerve-wracking because it like it's something I've never experienced before but the doctor and his team were very nice there was the doctor and two other people in the room and you know they kept talking to me and they were letting me know what was happening and what to expect they made it as comfortable as possible but it was still very scary however it is so fast so after they cut the flap then again he's only doing one eye at a time he puts the thing back in my eye to hold it open and then he lifts the flap up i'm st like laying back staring up at this machine and i just see like a you know a machine and a little light and as he's lifting the flap everything that i'm seeing i can see like just go upwards like along with the flap it was the weirdest thing ever it was like all of my vision was just like Oop. and then once the flap was open it was so so blurry and then they just lined up the machine and all I could see was just like a reddish orange light and they just told me just keep focusing on that keep staring up at that each eye was 22 seconds for the actual like laser correction part the actual laser part like the actual like laser surgery was 
nothing. I felt nothing. It was totally comfortable. It was fine. It's so quick. And then as soon as like they moved the machine out of the way, he closed the flap back down, used a little like brush thing to like smooth it down. And I could see perfectly. It was crazy. And then they just did the same thing on the other side. I think I was in the actual surgery room for less than 15 minutes like it was very quick and then they had me walk into an exam room and he just looked at my eyes up close and the little machine thing to make sure everything was looking good and the flaps were down properly and uh yeah and then I was good to go so they gave me um a little pillow too which is so cute the one lady there makes these for all the patients, so I was able to hold this during the whole thing, which was actually very helpful. My vision right now, like, I can see, but they told me that because of how many drops I got, my vision is supposed to kind of look like I'm underwater, and it does. It's like, it's clear, but it's not crisp. It's like a little watery and foggy, and uh, they gave me these sunglasses that I had to wear. And once I got in the car, I just kept my eyes shut the whole ride home. And now I put the little protective goggles on. And I'm just going to chill in bed and uh, listen to some podcasts and just close my eyes. I'm supposed to do a few more drops, I think, tonight. Yeah, so two to three hours after surgery, I have to do my two prescription eye drops and then I'm supposed to do those both four times a day for seven days and then at bedtime oh tonight too I have to do the gel eye drops and then I have to do that every night right before bed for three to six months and then the artificial tears I'm supposed to start doing tomorrow and I'm supposed to do one drop every hour and then I think I, I don't have to do it as often as time goes by. I think they said the first month I'm supposed to do one drop every hour. Then the second month, one drop every two hours and so on. He said that tomorrow they'll be pretty red and bloodshot. But I can go back to work. I do have a client in the morning. They said I should be okay for that. They just suggested maybe wearing some type of goggles or something just to protect my eyes in case there's any like sprays or any products or anything in the air that's my update for now i'll let you know how i'm feeling in the morning good morning it is the day after my surgery when i first woke up my eyes definitely felt very dry every like even my throat everything feels super dry i need to drink a lot of water today because i just feel very dehydrated but my eyes they were dry but not as bad as i expected like i thought they were going to be like painfully dry and it would be like uncomfortable to even open them it was fine it's crazy because my right eye feels a hundred percent normal like, it doesn't feel like anything happened in this eye. My left eye is just the one that feels a little bit of irritation. They said that it would feel like there's an eyelash in my eye. And I'd say that's pretty accurate. But it's not, like, as I'm talking now, I think as the artificial tears are, like, working, it's starting to go away. And it's starting to feel normal. Um, but it's not, like, so bad and irritating where you're like, I need to rub my eye. This is so annoying. It's just a little dry i don't know but it's fine i feel like everything that was described to me like everything that i would feel and experience is happening on the left side but the right side is totally normal and they did tell me that in the morning i might have a little bit of like discharge around my eyes which i did just a tiny bit they said it's just from the amount of drops that i had in my eyes she had told me to just take like a hot washcloth or something and just very gently press it down on my eye and then just kind of do like downward motions on my lashes and like around the outside you don't want to rub but because the flap um is cut from the bottom and then they lift it up this way then they close it back down this way so as long as i'm doing downward motions she said that that's fine and that won't like mess with the flap it's so gross to say that i need to get ready for work soon i just have one client today 
um, for a haircut. So I feel like that'll be a nice way to kind of ease into it and see how I feel because, you know, I won't be there for too long. It won't be a lot of work. And then later this afternoon, I have to go back to the eye doctor for my post-op. They're just going to check my eyes out, make sure everything's looking good and healing right. And then I won't have to go back again until next week. I will just keep updating you periodically as there's things to update. But as of right now, I'm feeling good. Oh, and as far as my, my actual vision, I can see. It's wild. It's supposed to be a beautiful day today. I think it's going to be like up to 80 degrees. I cannot wait. And I'm excited that I can finally just not have to have my glasses on. I can wear normal sunglasses. Hello. So today is Tuesday, May 11th. It is officially two weeks since I got my LASIK eye surgery and I thought I would just sit down and kind of give like an overview of my entire experience because now at this point I already had two follow-up like post-op appointments and I was basically given the clear to just do normal things again and I took some notes of just some like general questions that I know I had going into this that I think maybe you might have now that everything is like said and done and I have like a clear mind I can explain everything so okay my vision before versus after so before um, I had like I said I had been wearing contacts since I was 12 years old I was a negative 3.25 in my right eye and a negative 2.75 in my left eye and my vision had been very very stable like that prescription had it changed in years and years and years. I did have astigmatism though. So even though I had my corrective contact lenses, my glasses, whatever, I could see with them. But if I was reading words like, you know, like a menu on the wall or something, like it would take me a while. I would kind of have to squint. It like the letters weren't perfectly crisp and clear. And I would see halos especially at nighttime, like around lights. Nothing significant, but a little bit. And now at this point, like I said, I went in for my post-op appointments and they checked my eyes and I have 2015 vision. So I'm actually a little bit better than 2020, which is amazing to me. And my astigmatism is completely fixed, which is insane. So like not only can I see from a distance, but I can actually like make out words and letters and like fine print details too from a distance which is really cool but i mean honestly when i'm just like looking around living my life the way that i'm seeing is not really different from when i had my contacts in other than you know it's a little bit crisper and i don't have to take as much time to really focus when i'm reading words so who did i go to who did my lasik and how did i find my doctor that was the biggest thing for me because i had been researching lasik for so many years i was most nervous about finding someone who was going to do a good job so my regular eye doctor doesn't do lasik but i had been talking to him about it for years like i said i've been thinking about this for a long time and um, i just called my regular eye doctor's office and they gave me a referral so i went to dr moran in bethlehem pennsylvania and i cannot recommend him enough he is amazing and like his entire staff everybody that works there is really amazing i had a wonderful experience from this moment that i called just to book the consultation up until my post-op like it's just been 10 out of 10. I drove almost an hour away, but to me it was absolutely worth it. Um, so I highly recommend Dr. Moran. I will have his information in the description. How much did it cost and how did I pay? What I ended up paying was $4,500. Dr. Moran normally charges $5,280, but because I was referred by my eye doctor and I guess they're like associates or whatever, they're affiliated, I don't know, I got a little bit of a discount. Um, so I paid 4500 but that included everything. It included all of the pre-op appointments, all of the post-op appointments. The only thing that it didn't include was the eye drops that I had to get. So I had to get two different kinds of prescription eye drops, but my insurance did cover that. And then I had to get some artificial tears and some gel drops that I have to do at night. And that I just had to pay for out of pocket. And some insurance plans will cover LASIK. If not in full, they will pay for part of it. I don't have vision insurance, so that wasn't even an option for me. But I would look into it. I would contact your insurance company and see if they 
you know, will pay for part of it. Dr. Moran's office does offer financing though, so I didn't have to pay for the full amount right out of pocket. Um, I was able to finance it and I have six months to pay it off without any interest, which is nice. How long do the results last and do you have to go for any kind of follow-ups? So as long as it's done right, you do not have to go for any kind of like touch-ups or revisions or anything like that. Once you get LASIK, your vision is corrected permanently forever. Now it doesn't prevent aging though. So my doctor explained to me that once I hit around 40, 45, I may need reading glasses just to see things up close because as our eyes age, like that's just what happens, but I will never need prescription lenses ever again. And my astigmatism will be fixed forever. Depending on who you go to, sometimes you might end up needing a revision in the future. My doctor explained to me that the national average, I believe is around 20%. 20% of people who get LASIK will need some type of revision in the future. His rate though is 4%. So that's something that when you are looking into, you know, a doctor to do your LASIK, I would ask them that, like, what is their revision rate? Hopefully, as long as everything heals and I'm doing everything I'm supposed to, as far as aftercare goes, I should be good forever. So again, you know, the price I paid, I feel like is totally worth it for that reason too. Okay, so now let's talk about like the actual procedure itself. Was it scary? Did I smell burning flesh because I know somebody had mentioned that um did I feel anything was there any pain etc the actual like LASIK procedure itself from the time I went into like the actual operating room I think I might have been in there for 15-20 minutes tops it was so quick they didn't give me any kind of like sedative or anything to relax me they said that i needed to be like fully awake and aware i have pretty bad anxiety and i also am extremely claustrophobic so this room was pretty small to begin with and then it was just these two huge machines so it just made the room feel even smaller but they just had me come in lay back on this bed scoot all the way to the end they put this pillow around my head so that i couldn't move around um and i oh i did have to wear a face mask so at that point i think my like claustrophobia started kicking in a little bit just because the room was small i had this thing around my head i had the face mask on i just felt very covered and constricted when they're doing lasik surgery they have to cut a flap so they cut like the very top layer of your eye and flip it open so then the laser can go in and do the corrections the whole time that i was there by the way as i'm laying back they are like constantly putting drops in my eyes constantly putting the numbing drops so my eyes didn't get dried out at any point and i didn't feel any kind of pain or discomfort so when they're cutting the flap that's honestly the worst part of the entire thing they do one eye at a time so the eye that they're not working on they put a cover over it and they have you keep it closed the eye that they are working on they put this like metal thing in there to keep your eye held open so that you can't blink. It sounds really scary, but honestly, it wasn't bad at all. I barely felt anything. And like I said, they constantly were applying drops, so I didn't feel the need to blink. They then took this like clear looking silicone ring and put that on my eye. And they were like, okay, applying the suction. And they said to me like, you're gonna feel some pressure. And they had told me like even before I went in there that I was going to feel the only thing I would ever feel is pressure when they're cutting the flap. But I didn't realize it was because they were putting the suction cup on my eye. And because that part wasn't explained to me prior, I was a little panicked for a second because I was like, wait, what is happening? What's going on? What is this thing? And they put it on your eye and it's, I guess, just a suction. But again, you can't really feel much. I did feel a little pressure. I felt something like pressing down on my eye, but... I mean, it didn't hurt or anything. And then they put you under a machine and the machine just with the laser puts like these little tiny like microscopic dots. So nothing is actually like physically cutting you. It's all done with a laser. And I didn't feel that at all. I was just laying there and I was just staring up at like a really bright white light. But it's just a little scary because you don't know what's happening and you're just being like put under this machine and then taken back out and you have this suction cup on your eye and you can't really see anything and all you see are these bright lights and then I don't know it's just looking back on it now I'm like oh it really wasn't that bad because it really was so fast but in the moment I remember thinking 
holy shit, this is the scariest thing I've ever done in my entire life. I just can't wait for this to be over. So they, you know, he did my right eye, then my left eye, and once the first laser did all of like the little dots, then he lifted up the flap. And that part is super weird because I'm just laying back and I'm staring at this machine with this like reddish orange light and as he's lifting the flap up everything that I'm seeing is just like lifting up with the flap and then once it was completely up everything was just really 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 blurry super weird unlike anything I've ever experienced before but honestly not scary like at that point after like the suction cup part was over everything else was a breeze um, so yeah he lifts the flap up it sounds so gross but it's really not that bad um, and then I go under the second laser machine and all I have to do is just stay still and just focus there's just that reddish orange light and I just have to focus on it and I mean you don't really have to do anything there's not much that you can mess up they make sure that you're perfectly still and lined up and then they told me okay stay still we're gonna start and for me it was 22 seconds per eye it varies i think they said it could be anywhere from like 20 seconds to a minute per eye um, but most people it's like around 30 seconds and they just counted down the 22 seconds and i just laid there and i just stared up at this light and it makes a clicking noise as it's working but i did not feel a single thing nothing at all whatsoever the first eye that they did i did start to smell something and as i'm laying there all i could think was oh my god that is the smell of my burning flesh like that's the smell of the laser like burning my eye that is so disgusting and creepy so i said something about it to the doctor and he said oh no 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 this is a cool laser which was explained to me during my pre-op it's a cool laser so it's not burning anything he said what i was smelling is just the exhaust from the machine and then when he did the second eye i didn't smell anything so once the laser finished doing its thing with my eye he closed the flap back down he took this little like brush kind of thing smoothed it down and i could see like immediately right there and then I could see perfectly clear it was insane so then he did the same thing on the other side and then I was done that was it they just kept putting drops in my eyes they had me sit up I could see um, I went to the other room he looked you know through the machine at my eyes to make sure that everything like you know the flap was closed down and everything looked good and uh, then they sent me on my way and my dad was outside in the car waiting for me and then he drove me home. I did have to put on these sunglasses as soon as, you know, as I was leaving the building and then I just had to keep my eyes closed. When I got home, I expected like once the numbing drops wore off, I thought that my eyes would be a little sore or uncomfortable and they weren't at all. So as far as aftercare goes, like I said, that first day, immediately after the surgery, you have to come home and just keep your eyes closed and just chill and not really do anything. But then after that, you're fine. Like you guys saw in the vlog, the next morning, less than 24 hours later, I went to work and I felt totally fine. I was able to drive, do everything like normal. I drove myself later that day, you know, an hour away to my post-op appointment, especially my left eye felt sort of like there was an eyelash or something in it it was just a little bit scratchy but whenever i would do my drops then it felt totally fine so really the only like restrictions that you have are in the first week so for the first week after lasik you have to wear these goggles to bed they're not the cutest but they're not uncomfortable i mean they're so so thin and lightweight and they're completely covered in foam on the inside and they're adjustable so you can like loosen them a little bit this is just to protect your eyes so that you don't accidentally like rub your eyes in your sleep or you know smush them against a pillow or something like that i couldn't get my eyes wet so i mean you can shower of course and wash your face and all that kind of stuff you just have to keep your eyes closed for that and no eye makeup for the first week but i think that's kind of it as far as restrictions while i was at work i did wear like protective glasses just so that like no hairspray or any kind of particles in the air would get in my eyes since i am a hairstylist and then you have to do a shit ton of drops and your aftercare instructions may vary depending on who you go to of course just do what your doctor tells you to do but as far as what my doctor told me um, I had the two prescription eye drops 
for the first week I had to do these four times a day both of them and then I had to do my artificial tears which I had to get preservative free ones for the first week which they come in these like individual droppers which is so wasteful I hate like the amount of plastic that you're using with these but anyway preservative free artificial tears every hour for the first week and then these celluvisque gel lubricating drops every night at bedtime after the first week i was able to stop using the prescription drops but now for the rest of the first month i have to still do the artificial tears every hour but after the first week you can just do regular ones you don't have to do the preservative free so i just have my little bottle i keep one in my purse and one at home next to my bed so i just i try my best to remember every hour to just you know do a drop of this this my doctor said is so 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 important you need to keep your eyes lubricated as much as possible during the healing process because that's what's going to make your eyes heal the best and the quickest and then i still have to do these gel drops one time at bed and as time goes on i can cut back on the artificial tears so the first month i have to do every hour second month every two hours third month every three hours and so on and i can kind of slowly wean off of them so that's all i have to do as far as aftercare um and i i got after a week i was able to do eye makeup again so i got my lash extensions put back on and i've just been showering and washing my face like normal getting my eyes wet i'm allowed to go swimming and do all that kind of stuff now after the first week with the exception of remembering to do my drops every hour my life is completely normal i can't rub my eyes though oh that's another thing that i forgot so if you're somebody who is like a serious eye rubber that's a habit that you need to break because you absolutely cannot rub your eyes for at least six months following LASIK eye surgery. Cause you don't wanna like mess anything up, move the flap around or anything. You wanna make sure that it can heal perfectly. As far as side effects, I haven't really experienced anything. The only things that I have experienced are exactly what they told me would happen. So like I said, the first like day or so, my vision kind of looked a little underwater because of all of the eye drops but that went away you know after the first day or so um and my eyes did for like the first couple of days i would say they felt pretty dry but like i said as soon as i would put my artificial tears in my eyes they that that was fine it went away and it was never anything that was super irritating or unbearable it was just a little annoying but if you're somebody that is used to wearing contacts all the time like i was it's it's not a big deal it's like nothing new and then another side effect is at nighttime you do see halos around lights i i can drive at night i can see totally fine but the cars that pass me i i do like the headlights look really blown out and i see halos around them that is supposed to start going away after three months or so but that's just like a common side effect that happens to pretty much everybody that gets lasik you see halos for the first three months but it goes away over time as your eyes heal and like i said for me somebody who had astigmatism to begin with i already saw halos before so they're a little bit worse now definitely but it's not anything that's like debilitating like i said i still can drive at night it's fine and as far as how do i feel now two weeks post-op i feel great I feel totally normal. I keep forgetting that I had this done, honestly, and if it wasn't for the fact that I have to do the drops all the time, I I just wouldn't even think about it ever. Oh, and let me show you too um, how they're looking now, because they were pretty red the first like week or so after, but now at this point, they're completely healed. My eye doctor said that everything is healing really nicely and everything looks really good. Even when I went for my day one post-op appointment, he was like, wow, they're healing so nicely. These look like they were done a week ago already. So that's really good. I've just been trying to follow instructions as best as I can. I highly recommend if you've been considering doing LASIK, just go for it. I mean, of course, you know, do your research. Don't rush into it find a good doctor that you trust but don't don't wait anymore like that i i do wish that i had just done it sooner sorry if you can hear my dog drinking in the background and my boyfriend has a friend over now so anyway um 
to wrap up this video here thank you so much for watching i really hope that it was helpful if you have any other questions go ahead and leave them down in the comments check the description for more information links my doctor all that kind of stuff and i'll see you guys in my next video bye